Hello everyone! Welcome to First Second Sketch School. My name is Wyatt Yates, and I am the illustrator of The Mars Challenge, uh, which is a book about what it will realistically take to put a crewed mission on Mars and bring them home safely again. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how I draw the main character, Nadia. So, here I am moving to pencils. Um, I sped these clips up just a little bit so that uh, you can see this in a shorter amount of time. But um, usually I, I first do like a really rough sketch, rough layout of the character and you know what position they're in, sort of laying in basic features, some anatomical uh, guidelines and stuff like that. And then I start to tighten everything up. And then moving on to her ear and her braid. And then her determined, determined little smile, which takes me a couple tries, but I do get there. <laughs> the nice thing about pencils is that they have erasers. You can always try again. So then her ear and a little bit of her neck. Yeah, giving that smile one more try in a second, but first roughing in her hat and some little details. And then trying, trying the smile again, I think. Yeah, this time I get it. That's beginning to look like Nadia. And that's it for pencils. So moving on to inks, uh, I usually use a brush to ink with. So here we go. I'm inking in the first lines and this line, I did not like the way it came out. And it just didn't quite work, didn't quite follow the lines of the pencils. So I take some white out and clear it. It's one of the nice things about drawing is that if you make a mistake, you can always white it out or erase it or delete it and try it again. So I like to use really big, thick lines when I'm working with ink. Um, I usually keep my line widths pretty, pretty similar throughout. I just sort of like the way it has sort of a bubbly, clean line feel. And then inking in the lines of her braid. Now Nadia's hair is black, so I'm going to wind up filling that all in later, um, as well as her hair here. And then yeah, testing to see if that whiteout is dry and it just, just isn't quite ready yet. So we'll wait on that line for just a little longer while we do her eyebrows. And her nose. And then we move to a few little strands of hair here and there. And lines for her backpack. This is the shoulder strap of her backpack. And then I think I try to try to get this line of this hat in one go, and I think it comes out pretty good. Yeah, that works. And adding in a little bit more indications of where her hairline is near her ear dropping in the shadow underneath her neck, and then moving on to the eyes. I'm gonna do some, some eyelids. I'm gonna try that line one more time. And that time I get it. Just smooth it out just a little bit, really make sure it works okay. And there we go. And then it's time to do the fills. So I usually do fills with a really, really big uh, marker because I just find it's a lot faster than doing it, painting it all in with a brush. But unfortunately that marker is, it's, it's great because it's such a large, large marker, but it also is a little too large for some of the, the spaces we have to fill here. So grabbing a, a smaller brush pen and then just continuing on to, uh, drop in the solid blacks for her hair and then doing her eyes leaving just a little white there just a little little glint and a little bit under her yeah there we go that's nadia thank you all so much for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed this Stay tuned for more episodes of First Second Sketch School, and be sure to check out the Mars Challenge wherever books are sold. Bye-bye.